So this is a really important part of the process and an important distinction in terms of quality um, at, the, at the core level of the products. It's the circuit board design. Um, we have a few key differences in terms of our circuit boards from a lot of uh, mass production products. Uh, one is that because of the versatility of our products, we uh, utilize both sides of the circuit board. It's sort of a necessity, but it ends up being a, a very important part of the overall quality. Um, in a lot of mass production amplifiers, the circuit boards are single-sided. And so what that means is that for each trace and each connection to a component where a component gets installed, there is only the trace, which is a piece of foil covered in, in some sort of epoxy or some material that seals it, uh, there's a, only a very small point of connection once the component is soldered. It's to that piece of foil. Because we use a double-sided board, we use uh, what are called solder barrels, or technically speaking, it's called an annular ring. And these are uh, metal pieces that are installed into the board and they connect on both sides to traces and it creates a huge surface area for solder and the component lead to be connected. It's a much more significant solder connection point and it's just vastly superior to a, a, a piece of foil being connected to the end of the component lead. Again, it's sort of out of necessity that we have to do that because it's we need this, the design space, uh, but also it's, it just ends up being vastly superior, more reliable, and uh, a much better way of doing things. So that's one of the elements of, of quality in a Mesa Boogie that is, is far and away above a lot of other manufacturers. And you talk about the different routes you go, like you have the inbuilt route on the board, and on key components you go different alternate routes from A to B on the board? Yeah, so uh, Randy employs a lot of concepts from point to point wiring that he learned when he was repairing amplifiers in the very early days in the late 60s and early 70s. He will incorporate some of those point to point concepts in his circuit board design. Um, either uh, certain traces that are on the top side of the board and others that will be on the bottom. You may have some hum canceling effects or you may have uh, other benefits by having a trace that's on the top versus a trace that's on the bottom. Uh, Randy incorporates a lot of different uh, approaches in his design, some that incorporate point to point uh, and in some cases he may leave some traces off and actually have wires that he will use instead of a trace because of certain benefits that you get by having a wire, being able to route a wire a certain way that will create a tone or might cancel noise or hum. So, uh, you know, in 45 years, Randy will tell you that uh, he's, he's just starting to get good at what he's doing. Um, but he's definitely incorporated a lot of different concepts uh, from point to point and also uh, made a bunch of great refinements in circuit board design as well, which is really his art form. It's, it's what he loves to do, um, but he incorporates both of those things in a way uh, where we get an incredible amount of consistency and reliability, which is probably one of the most important things uh, to Randy, to be able to reproduce magic and great tone in every amplifier that we make.